So the difference between the DFM and the AFM is these eight cylinders of shutdown on this DFM engine. So this is a 2023. So there's these eight holes. And then you move over here to the LT1, this is a 2016, which is gonna be like an L83 or an L86. So you only have the four cylinders of shutdown. So this looks a lot different in here than this new engine here. We're doing a little comparison on the newer LT engine. So this is L84, which is gonna be similar to the L87. Um, and then we have some parts from an LT1, a 2016. So typically a lot of your harnesses out there for your swaps are gonna be for the older engines. So we just wanna make sure that like, hey, these connectors, what we think they are, like that they're gonna actually work on here and we can convert this L84 to like an L83 top end. So what we're looking at here is this driver's side fuel rail. So we'll turn these at the same orientation. Here's a clip that came with this one. So this one we already know works on here. So what does it plug in? Yep, plugs in just the same. So the one thing we notice, if we look here, the wire collars are a little bit different. So they're kind of slightly different colors. This one's like darker green, lighter green, lighter brown, darker brown. They're pretty similar here. So you could probably use this. The injectors, we did unplug one of the injectors. The plug is the same, so you can plug them in to the same injector. Um, we know for sure that this fuel pressure sensor is different, which we're gonna take this off and see if this is even interchangeable. Um, the one thing so far that is different for sure is this fuel pump. The connector looks a lot different on it. So here's our LT. Uh, fuel pump connector. So this one definitely doesn't fit in there. If you look at this, there's quite the difference here. This is the old LT, and this is the new L84. So this is a new engine. And then we'll check the other side of the rail here. So this one came with it. This one here, it does clip in just fine. The wire collars, pretty similar on these as well. You can see the comparison of wires here. These look pretty much the same. So we're comparing the new fuel rail here. This is on the 2023, that's L84 versus LT1 2016. So we have a couple of the injectors out. So let's do a little comparison here on the injectors. So this is the old injector. These are pretty large. These are the seven and a half millimeter injectors on the old ones. And we're gonna measure the new one. The new one has these six millimeter injectors. So quite a bit smaller. You look here, it's got the same connector. So the connector's interchangeable. These are different. The top is actually different as well, which is gonna make the fuel rail incompatible. So if we measure in here, about 8.2 millimeters. This one here. Let's go down here, 9.25. And this new one is about 9.03 millimeters. So a little bit different there. The rail is actually a different size, so you can't use other rail. It's closed, but you can't use it. So the difference here on the fuel rail pressure sensors is the new one is a lot smaller. You can see this one's a lot smaller and it's three pin. The old one is bigger here. They both have the same thread. So this sensor is interchangeable on the rails. Um, and you can tell here the connector's a lot bigger on this old one, the four pin, and the new three pin here. So L84, this is LT1 out of a 2016. So we're gonna remove the fuel pressure line here. So this is the inlet to the fuel pump, the high pressure pump. So we're gonna use a 3 8 So put this around the line. So you're gonna push this line in towards the pump and then just work this tool up and then slide this off. Simple as that. So we have the new fuel pump off the 2023. Here is the old fuel pump off the LT1. So if you look here, the connectors, this part is different and it's not interchangeable. So the connectors quite a bit different on these. Uh, you can see too, the size of the pump is quite a bit smaller on this. This new one here, this is off of 5.3, the L84. 
Uh, let's take a look at the underside here. So, underside, this is pretty similar here. This looks all about the same. So these aren't interchangeable just because of the connector. The rest of this is gonna be the same. So, same lines and uh, inlet here. Difference here is we have the old LT1 2016 engine. So it's gonna be like an L83, L86. Uh, this new L84 2023. So let's look at the valley pan on that. So we look here, this one doesn't really have a whole lot in there. It's quite a bit different. So this LT1 has AFM, which is four cylinders of shutdown. This one has eight cylinders of shutdown. And you can see how that works in here because you have these eight little solenoids in here. So let's take a look at the lifter here. So I can tell this piece is a little bit different already. This kind of bolt area is a lot smaller. It looks pretty similar. So this is a new one. Here's the old style. To me, it looks the same. We can see if this one fits in here just out of curiosity. It does fit in there, so uh, that part's the same. Looks like it's just the retainer and the bolt is going to be the difference here. Let's try this one in here. So put the new one in this old engine. It does fit in there. It's just the retainer is different on it. So we're just measuring the length here on this just to see if the length's the same because we know the bore's the same by setting it in there because it fits the same. So this is the old style engine this is the new style engine so this stuff here is it's the same dimensions so these lifters are interchangeable the retainer is not okay to wrap up the difference here this newer 2023 this l84 engine versus lt1 the 2016 what we're going to use is we're going to use l84's fuel injectors and fuel rails and then we're going to use an LA3 fuel pump, fuel pressure rail sensor, and the wire harness. And then we could use the old LA3 harness in our swap. So the main reason we're doing these is get first-hand knowledge to have the parts in front of us to make sure everything fits perfectly so you're not wasting any time in your garage and have the right parts the first time when you build this so it goes quickly, smoothly, and easily.